Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another World's Worst Tattoos video. If you are new here, before we get into it, I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, because, I mean, I like new people. Hit the like button, leave some feedback in the comments, and stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be showing three of your personal fan tattoos that you sent to me. I got three good ones today, so you're gonna want to stick to the end to see them. And maybe it'll be your tattoo. Ooh. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. This is World's Worst Tattoos number 193. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Oh, here's a nice mermaid tattoo. And by nice mermaid tattoo, I mean, well, it's technically a tattoo of a mermaid. Okay, it's not nice. I shouldn't have used the word nice. What happened to her neck and her shoulder? Oh, that shoulder. She must have been attacked by a shark because that shoulder is dislocated. And by dislocated, I mean it's not located where it should be. That is not where a shoulder goes. And why is your neck so tiny and thin? I mean, I'm sure I could name a thousand other problems with this too, but who has the time? Here's another mermaid tattoo. Well, I think it's a mermaid? It looks like a man bear mermaid. What is this? It's got like a bear paw with scales and it's got like the head of Grimace from McDonald's. The hell is going on here? Look at that hairy chest. Wow, that is one hairy man. Bear. Mermaid guy grimace. It's a man bear grimace mermaid. I feel like it's an experiment gone wrong Someone started sewing animals together and all of a sudden you end up with this. Here's a weird one I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the big feather arm thing, but whatever. It's not the one that confuses me here. The one that confuses me is like the piece of cheese pizza slice and the broken bone in the middle. Is this some sort of Cheese pizza ritual, like black magic. Cheese pizza magic. And of all the pizza to get on there, you just got a slice of cheese pizza. You couldn't put some pepperonis on there or something. <laughs> Damn, that is some plain pizza. Cheese pizza is for children, okay? When you're an adult, you put toppings on it. Just add some toppings to the pizza. I'll be fine with the tattoo. Whoa, look at this angel warrior. Wow. Okay, don't look too close. Oh, uh, what is that? Rocky Balboa? Is that Rocky Balboa in the movie 300? I don't remember them having wings in that movie. His peck is actually slowly being absorbed by his armpit. Let it go. Let it go. I mean, it could be a Frozen reference, but I think it's just because the balloon is floating away and they just like when people let go of balloons, I guess. Maybe this is like their little sick game they play. You know when a children's walking with a balloon, they go up and they're like, let it go, trust me, and they let it go. If you give a child a helium balloon and don't tie it to their wrist, then you are dooming that child to lose their balloon, all right? Look, that's a daddy lesson for you, okay? First time you give a child a helium balloon, Tie it around their wrist. Don't worry, they're not gonna float away. Is that what it is? A balloon flying away? Let it go? I mean, you can get it covered up with like a big frozen tattoo, like a big picture of Elsa. Elsa, whatever, what's her name? That, the blonde one from Frozen? Ah, you know what, just get the little snowman dude. That's easier. What's his name? I don't know his name either. Wally, Willie, Frank, Riddler Psyduck. Wow! <laughs> okay, so can you answer the question, um, wait, riddle me this. Why the hell did you do that? I guess you just like Pokemon and you like Riddler from Batman and you decided to splice them together. I actually kind of like these tattoos when people just take two interests that they have and they're like, let's just do one tattoo. It's kind of cool. You never thought you'd see Psyduck dressed up as the Riddler, but here we are. Oh, and a little rose? Whoa, that... Uh, well, tattoos on the face is a life choice for this man. A lot of people were leaving comments under this one saying things like, well, I don't feel so bad about myself now and my life choices. Do you think that's why this man did this? Just to make other people feel better about their life choices? I don't know. I see so many people with this. Ha 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 tattoo. The little joker, ha <laughs> ha, everyone likes that shit. They all think it's so badass. And you know what, maybe it is, I don't know. And this guy looks pretty scary, so I'm just gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna give these tattoos a stamp of approval. Please don't murder me. I like to imagine this picture was taken when someone picked him up hitchhiking on the side of the road. Like, oh, can I get a picture of your tattoos, dude? And he was like, sure. I mean, it's the last picture you'll ever take. Again, I'm just kidding. You're probably a very nice person, please don't kill me. Here's one that was spotted in the wild. 
Another head tattoo. It's got the middle finger and Big Pharma. So he's saying, at Big Pharma, you got a little toxic symbol up there. Is that because your brain is toxic? And then it also says here, this one took me a little while to decipher because this tattoo did not age well. It's a little blurry. It says, who have you helped besides yourself lately? And then he's got this one that just says, FKN hearts, a fucking heart. How'd you get that one? The tattoo artist was like, what do you want in this space back here? And he's like, wow, just put a fucking heart there. I don't know. It says addiction. Mm -hmm. I think you're addicted probably to tattoos on the back of your head, like trying to send messages to people with the back of your head. You can just turn around and talk to them. Here's a tattoo on someone's back that really it just looks like a bruise. It looks like someone punched you in your lower back and then you were like, yeah, you know what? Go over that bruise with tattoo ink. Now I will have the bruise in my back forever. Yeah, I don't get it. The other tattoos aren't half bad, but this one is just... What, are you getting it removed? Because it looks like it's either a cover-up or you're getting something removed because there's a lot of faded tattoos back there. Here's another one on the front of the chest. Yep, it just looks like you got punched in the chest. This must be a tattoo removal, right? Like, who's getting this tattooed on their chest? Because there's other ones, too, that are faded and disappearing. You know what? At first, I thought this was, like, a tattoo gone wrong, but it's one of two things. It's a tattoo removal or they got punched in the chest. Here's a good before and after. Okay, before... Yeah, eyes. I never understood why people get eyes tattooed on them. You just want creepy eyes staring at you all the time. You look down, and you're like, oh God, huh. thought it was a little gremlin. It's just my arm staring at me again. Just like every five seconds, you're just like looking down. Oh God, yeah, oh God. That's what I'd be doing. I'd just be frightening myself all the time. I always think I see things out of the corners of my eyes. You know, the peripheral vision can see a lot more. I don't know, I'm just making shit up now. And here's the cover-up. Let's get to the cover-up. That is much better. It actually is a lot better than what you had before. I like the drooping ink detail. It's pretty cool. It's way better than what you had. Oh, another person trying to send their message to the world through a tattoo. Chemtrails, if you don't alert the masses, who will? Well... Not me. What is the thing with chemtrails? I don't even understand it. I don't understand this conspiracy. I don't get it. What are you afraid of with the chemtrails? I guess just putting all that toxicity into the air. They think like chemtrails are like trying, like controlling our mind or suppressing us or something. Is that what it is? I don't know. Someone fill me in in the comments. Let me know what the whole conspiracy about chemtrails is. That's why I don't have to do research, okay? I got you guys to help me. Educate me in the comments. Like I'm wearing a Mario shirt. This is apparently a guy that's pretty popular on Instagram, and he does portraits of people's dogs in his own special art style. Here's one. I mean, he's actually nailing their essence, which is nice. It's very simple. Here's another one. Yeah, I mean, you're nailing the essence of these dogs. This, the picture's, the tattoo's actually a little better than the picture in this one, because you can actually see the dog's eyes, at least. And this one's my favorite. You're not even trying, dude. Like, this is just the most low effort ever, and apparently this guy's really popular, and people love his tattoos. It's one of those things where sometimes a tattoo is so bad that it becomes its own art form, you know? And it becomes a style of tattoo. This shitty tattoo has almost become a style in itself. People get tattoos like this now. They want it to look simple and a little bit etched on. It's kind of like a style now. Got a tattoo to make the wife laugh. Accidentally put my phone number instead of hers. Proofreading is important, kids. Oh yeah, you accidentally put your number. If you can see this, pen, pen, pen is call Sharon at, whoops, it's my number. I guess we're not calling my wife. So we'll just continue what we were doing here. Don't tell my wife. Why is that funny? Like, why? if I got that tattoo, my wife would not think it's funny. She'd be like, you're an idiot. Get that removed. Here's a good example of simple tattoos. This kind of art style, you see? It's just very simplistic. This girl got all of her favorite things tattooed on her. See, like shoes and an airplane and a purse. It looks like you got wingdings tattooed on you, actually. Is that what you did? You just got the font wingdings? You're like, this is what I want tattooed, and you just went like, da 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 on wingdings, and then... They're like, okay, there it is. But this is what I was talking about. This like simplistic tattoo style. It's kind of like an art form now. But I also don't like it. Color in the plane at least, come on. Maybe make that shoe red with some shading. A coat hanger? One of the tattoos is literally just a coat hanger. You just you can put a shirt on there or something? All right, you know what? I'm just being sassy. If she likes them, why do I care? This next tattoo is by far my favorite that I've seen in a while. The literal tattoo on the chest. And of course, you gotta make 
the last O, your nipple, that's just a given. That must have hurt, actually. You know, the tattoo artist's like, okay, I'm gonna do the circle around your nipple now. Oh, it must be wonderful when a tattoo artist gets to frame someone's nipple in ink. It is a tattoo. It is. I And now let's get to the fan tattoos. First, we'll start with this one that I had for a while. This is a really good one. I've been saving this one, actually, because I liked it so much that I kept putting off using it, and this guy sent me a few emails, and I'm sorry, dude. I guess I should have just emailed you back, but here it is. It's a giant bong that says, hit me. And uh, I don't like the provocative way he's holding his spout there. Yeah, just to set this on fire. Wow, actually, that's weird. The story that came with it was, I got this tattoo for my 50th birthday, then got COVID, had a minor heart attack, and had to stop smoking. Funny, lifelong smoker, and just like that, no smoking. Love the show, longtime fan. Your body rejected the tattoo. That's Your body was like, that's the last straw. Well, I'm sorry that happened to you, dude. I'm glad that you could have been worse. I'm glad you're alive. That's the silver lining, you know? Your body told you it's time to slow down. I'm glad you're listening to it. And that actually is a fantastic tattoo. You clearly paid someone that knew what they were doing, and it's a funny tattoo. I wouldn't even get it covered up, because it's a really good tattoo. But if you wanted to, you could change it into something. Like, maybe, um, you could change it into, like, some perv with a trench coat, whipping his wiener out. Sorry, that's just the first thing that came to my mind. That, the way he's holding that bowl is just disturbing me, okay? That one I do love, though. That gets a stamp of approval. And please take care of yourself. I need all my fans to be healthy. I can't afford to lose the fans, okay? Yeah, I need all my fans nice and healthy, all right? We're in this together, okay? Here's a guy that has a tattoo that says Meowdy instead of Howdy. And this is the story. I'm obsessed with my cat and my wife hates that, so I'm working on getting a bunch of cat tattoos. This is the most recent, and Garfield is on my arm, going to get the grumpy cat next, and after do a leg sleeve of a bunch of cat warriors. Figured you'd get a kick out of this one, though, if it's worth making it into a video. Love your videos. I appreciate you sending this one in. That is actually hilarious. I got a little chuckle out of it, but I w here's what I don't understand. So your wife is like, I hate how you're obsessed with cats, and you were like, yeah, well, look how obsessed I can be, and you just went, like, full head first in. Are you trying to piss off your wife? Are you just, like, every day surprising her with a new cat tattoo? Like, hey, got another one. She's like, God damn it. At least you're spending money, and they look like decent tattoos. If your sole reason to get these tattoos is to piss off your wife, that's a little weird. Don't piss your wife off too much, okay? You know? And here Here's one last fan tattoo. This guy sent in this one and said, Hey Fluffy, I lost a bet and had to get a tattoo of Golem slash Smeagol. And instead of it turning out as Golem, it looks more like a crackhead searching for a rock. Here's the tattoo. Picture. Yeah, no, it definitely looks like a crackhead looking for a rock. That long hair. You know what, though? Basically, that's what Smeagol was, right? It's just his rock was the ring. So... Really, they kind of nailed it. I can see Smeagol in it, though, but yeah. Yeah. But, like, at first glance, people are just gonna be like, wow, that's cool. Did you ever get punched by a crackhead that's like, why do you have a portrait of me? Like, offended, because you didn't ask permission. Anyway, thanks for sending in your fan tattoos. If you do have fan tattoos you want to send in that you want featured in my tattoo videos, you can send them to fluffyfanmail at gmail.com. I can't promise I'm gonna use all the ones that get sent in, but... Maybe you'll get lucky you'll get in the video. And uh, other than that, I will see you again soon. Video is done. If you want to support me on the next level, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, like the video, leave some feedback in the comments, give me all that engagement that helps me with the algorithm. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks, and check out the merch site. Yeah. All right. I think that's everything. Come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Boop, 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 boop,